Hi, my name is Caitlin Karbonik, and I'm the Associate Curator of Clothing and Textiles here at the Red Deer Museum and Art Gallery. Right now, I'm working on surveying the whole costume collection, which involves taking out each item individually and trying to figure out what it is and how old it is. This is a big job, and though I have training in historic dress, sometimes I come up against objects that I'm not quite sure about. In today's video, I want to share a couple strategies that I use when I come up against these kinds of objects, and maybe give you um, a couple strategies that you can use at home, using this jacket as an example. It is very rare to know the whole story of a garment. Even if it comes with a history, this may be incomplete or sometimes inaccurate. So another way of learning about a garment is to slowly and carefully observe it. Dress objects hold a lot of information in their physicality and we can learn, we can use this information to check our provenance information if we have any. So this is a red wool jacket that I pulled out of the collection without looking at its provenance. But even just by looking at it broadly, we can see that it looks very similar to a modern suit jacket with a couple key differences. For example, the pockets um, in this sort of different placement and the waist seam. This tells me that this garment falls into the Western tradition of tailored wool garments, but that it's probably not meant for typical day or evening wear. The fabric on it is very thick and it doesn't hold creases well. This could suggest that the maker wasn't very skilled. However, when I take a look at the quality of the stitching, I don't think that this is the case. More likely, this fabric was chosen because it's hard wearing and potentially meant for outdoor or maybe sports activities. So what we see when we look at this closely is a tailored jacket, but one that is hard wearing and potentially meant for outdoors or sports, which is already a lot more information than we had before we looked at it closely. If we take a look at the inside of this jacket, we can see that it has been re-pieced in the lining quite a bit, indicating that it has been worn a lot. Mostly it's been pieced with similar wool fabrics to the original lining, um, but there is this curious sort of oval piece back here made in, made in a coated cotton fabric. It's placed right at the spot where the wearer would sit, indicating that, that they were sitting a lot and maybe they wanted a fabric that would slip a easier in this area. The idea that they might have been sitting a lot in this jacket is supported by the fact that there's a very deep back slit here that would accommodate the sitting body. So a question that we can ask is what sort of an outdoor slash sporting activity would require sitting a lot? And based on the clues in this jacket, we can speculate that it was meant for horseback riding, which though considered a sport, it is still more of an upper class sort of a leisure activity and therefore a tailored garment would be appropriate. A last question we can ask this garment is how old is it? It's made with all natural materials, which means it could technically be almost any age. If a garment has synthetics, synthetics in it, that can help us date it more precisely within the last 100, 150 years. However, uh, this garment entered the collection in 1986, and based on the cut and construction, I would place it probably before the 1920s. By looking at the cut materials and construction of this garment, we can learn a lot about what it may have been used for. However, it's important to remember that these are speculations and there are ways of narrowing down future research. A good resource for this kind of garment analysis is The Dress Detective by Ingrid Mita and Alexandra Kim. It lays out the process for this sort of research and it also gives a bunch of cool examples that are similar to what we did today with this jacket.